led Lito out of it. She was shouting. Yours is even small. Can you imagine that very day? Me, Juan came into the class. She was like, why didn't you greet me? Why others greeted her? I was busy writing you. And she sent her for the class and gave me a big portion of land. Yours is even small. Come and see the land I cleared. Ah, that lady only is too much in this school. Our own is too much. What it's is too it? much. Our height ticket is too much. Exactly. Our height ticket is really too much. She should do and better go back to where she's coming from. Yes. Sure? Since when they transfer her to this school? Yeah. How dare you! So, so you now have the ghost, the gravity to gossip in me in this school. No, no. Ma, we didn't say anything. No, no, no. Ma, you don't no, 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 He wasn't going to come. Relax, Camps. Don't let him spoil your day for you. This is a one in a lifetime thing. And you don't allow anyone to spoil it for you. It has been spoiled. I'm trying. Oh. Is it yet time to cut the cake? Our friend is not happy yet. And all you could think about is cutting cake. And why is she not happy? Oh, is it about Raf? She said Ralph was not her boyfriend. Hence, I would have gone out there and fished him out wherever he's hiding. Don't be ridiculous. I'm serious. She should just admit that she likes him and I'll go out and bring him out right now. But of course you know she likes him. So if you know where he is, why don't you bring him here and put life back to this party? At least, for Kamsi's sake. Um, 
Okay, on my note, it's seen now too. Um, what do you mean by that? Okay, I have seen his article cartoon illustrations on Nera Lovers. So? Okay, I sent him a friend request and he accepted. I'm God talking. Miriam, stop pulling my legs right now. I'm serious. It was I that informed him about the birthday party during our chat. And I think I know where he is right now. But I'm not doing anything until that cake is caught. Miriam, please be serious with me right now. If you know all this, why didn't you tell me before? He's under my suspect and he still is. Miriam, stop all the suspected and ask him to come before someone dies of heartache. And I'm willing to do that only after cutting that cake. Oh, Miriam, you bring in here and you can have all the cake you want. <laughs> oh. Can you please say that again? You bring him here and you can have all the cake that you want. Now, you hold the sack. Now, watch me do my magic. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay, Kamsi. Whoever invited Ben and his bully on us to this party, they are always trouble treated. If I had known, I wouldn't have asked Miriam to bring it. I'm so, so sorry. Kamsi, I said it's okay. <sighs> I swear I'm going to make him pay for what he did to my party. Kamsi, hey, don't go asking my own thoughts on this matter. This boy stop. Let it go. Just to hell, I will let it go. Ben has beaten more than you. I won't let this go. I'm not going to let this go in Finally. Come this bed of been hearing for the past three months actually ended in a fight. <sighs> Thank God for that. That was so interesting. But I don't even know what is wrong with that guy called Ben. Every time he's raising his shoulder as if his dad is one of the richest politicians in this school. Please correct yourself. His dad is not the richest politician, just one of the richest politicians. And you are here complaining about Ben. What about Raf? Just because he came down from the UK newly. Most of the girls in the school are dying to get close to him. Please, is he the only one with six pack and pink lips? What am I even saying? Wait. Wash your mouth. 
All the girls are dying for him, but I'm not included. She's no. not included. She's dying for me, not for us. Please. Her. At least I'm happy. Now we hear something new. Not, no longer comes his birthday. Comes yeah, his birthday. something like Lisa's birthday. But you know it's not entirely a fault. You've got to try and forgive her. I'm forgiving her, Penny. I just don't want to talk to her until I've done what I want. And what are you planning on doing? I'm done. You'll be a little bit. Give up all people talking this way. Is this you or the effect of some tiny little butterflies in action? Ever since the advent of this whole rough issue, you now talk tough. Plan secret to even find it so difficult to forgive your friends. Annie, I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is that it's hard time to put a clip on Ben's wings. And who do you think is up to it? I know you're in love, that's why you're seeing all this thing. But even the school authority avoids Ben Balate and his troubles. He's now considered a non-academic student, for so he comes and goes as he chooses. I wonder what Miriam sees in him. Well, that is her problem. All I know is that I am going to treat Ben's folk up for messing up my birthday party and beating up my guest. Guest? Was he just a guest? Remember it was Miriam that helped you out on your psychological trauma by bringing him for you. I'm guessing this feeling would have been worse. If Raph hadn't showed up and Miriam would have told you she contacted him. Either ways, Miriam would still be the scapegoat. Which scapegoat? Calm, calm. I'm so sorry for what happened. It all happened so fast. I mean, I could have stopped Ben if I knew what he was up to. Please forgive me. Are you forgiving me, Saint? But you refuse to talk to me. It's like put a clip on your Ben's wings. Okay, fine. What if I talk to Ben to apologize to you? I don't need his apologies. Take it easy, Count. What if Mary can convince Ben to apologize to Ralph? Will you be at peace then? Listen, I don't care who Ben apologizes to or what he does. All I know is that I'm going to treat his fuck up. Our girl is in love. And he will be too disappointed to know what I already find about Ralph. What is it? Nothing incriminating. Just a simple matter of vested interest. That was what I was discussing with Ralph before Ben came and everything turned upside down. Harry, I need you to do me a favor. At last, she requested for a favor. Counts, your wish is always my command. I am not joking, Perry. Neither am I joking. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't attend your birthday party. My G-boys and I had things we got hooked up on. So what is the favor? I need you to treat someone's fuck up. <laughs> oh. Whoa, you're definitely in the right place. There is nothing more I do than treat people's fuck up for them. Good. Then I guess this won't be a problem to you. Of course not. Just give me a name and you get a result. ASAP. The name is Ben. Ben who? Ben Bralate. Ben Bralate as in the politician's son? Yes. Ben the bully? Yes. Kongzi, I know you don't like me enough to date me, but must you also plan for my funeral this early? Bralate is the untouchable. But I thought you said that's what you do and I'm at the right place. But it's Ben Bralate you are talking about here. Ben the bully, even the school is afraid of him. And you want small me to treat his fuck up. Instead of treating his fuck up, he would rather treat my own fuck up and even treat the fuck up of my entire generation. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that you and your so much talked about you boys cannot roughen him up a little? I am not saying you should kill him. Just lower his rank a little. Throw him in the gutters or suck away so that he will know that there are boys who can stand him. Or are you guys not man enough? Or haven't you heard enough of Ben and his trouble? I don't know. It's a calculated plan, Perry. You and your boys can do havoc to him. Just take him on a ways or something. 
that is even more dangerous. It's always with his crew of bad boys, and you know that. Well, you and your G-boys can lure him out of that pack and do have out to him. It's all about a calculated plan, Perry. You may have a point there, you know, but it's not going to be easy as you think. Ben is trouble and his father double trouble. No one dares his father and goes caught free. They are ruthless. Well, that is the more reason why we should put a clip on their wings, starting from the sun. <laughs> 